So uh, we, we, inside, me and some of the uh, prisoners or formerly incarcerated people, we put together the anthologies called Other, an Asian American, Asian and Pacific Islander Prisoners Anthology. You know, just, it's artworks, poetry, vignettes from people that were incarcerated to really share about their lives, their, their thoughts, right? So we, we can learn more about them because they are, they are people too. They are part of the community. They never <laughs> left the community, right? So therefore, um, Harvey on the East Wing bookstore, they carry this anthology, right? So if you, you want to, you're interested, you want to purchase one, go to the East Wing bookstore with Harvey, where Harvey is, and then also you can get it on Amazon.com. And so, uh, I, you know, where are you going? Right? I, I know where I came from, and know, I know what, why I'm here, but where are you going? Where do you come from? That's, that's something that you, you need to cons consistently reflect upon, right? So for me, without the education that I receive, uh, through the support from many of the Asian American uh, students and professors, I wouldn't be here today, right? So when I was in, inside, I, I saw in the clip right here, I saw a couple of things that are very interesting. One is the hot boil, the, the zine, hot boil, right? Actually, some of the students at the time who came to St. Quentin State Prison, you know, Asian Americans, they were, they were editors in hot boil, right? So then they came in, I was able to engage them. They were able to allow me to write a piece and share it in the hot boil, right? If you look at the archive, you'll see a piece of Break the Chain, right? Uh, written by myself, right? So it's engaging those type of media, the publications, that we need to have a voice, right? So we never had a voice, especially the people who were incarcerated, but now we have a voice. Many of the professors across the nation in different universities are using this book as part of their ethnic studies and Asian American studies curriculum, uh, which is I'm, I'm grateful for. Um, so the other thing is, like, you, you saw the strike, you know, we talk about the, the things of the strike. What really empowered me, encouraged me, is that the student from UC Berkeley that who wore yellow armbands in 1999 or 98, around that time, that who sat out here in UC Berkeley campus is really, you know, protesting and really uh, advocating for Asian American study and ethnic studies. Those people, when they came into the prison system, we felt empowered, said, wow, look at these young people. They are taking the, the things in their own hands, you know. They're not afraid to speak up, they're not afraid to advocate. And this is the best time you can do it, right. And the other thing I saw was Peter Kim, right? Peter, you know, he's, he works in the East Bay uh, Community Youth Center, right? Engaging the young people, the people that who are refugees during the, the war, doing, doing all, all this exploitation with the different the South, South Asian, Southeast Asian populations. I mean, how, how close can you get to Asian American studies, Asian American literature? When, when, you, when you're actually dealing with those people firsthand, you know, dealing with their history, right? Because we all, have, each every one of us has a history, right? So therefore, for Peter, I just want to say thank you for what you do. Thank you for continuing to further your education. And thank you for being a role model for And of course, to all the Asian American study uh, professors and from ethnic uh, study professors that are here especially, I want to thank you for really being the, the pioneers, being the uh, trailblazers, so we can have this opportunity to sit among each other, right? Because without that, we wouldn't be here. We wouldn't have what we have today. So we are standing on the shoulders of the folks that who lay down their lives, lay down you know, their dignity on the line, they lay down what they believe, their beliefs in the lives for us, so we can have the rights and privileges that we have in the, in the higher education. So we can never forget that. Right? So the last thing I, I want to share with you is, uh, I want to share a poem with you. Right? So inside, we, out here, I don't know a lot of people, do they take up uh, their education for granted? You know, for the guys inside, especially when they, are, when they were given the opportunity to, have, to get education, they, they, they just suck everything up like sponges. Right? When they're given the proper re uh, resources and opportunities. But the prison system is very oppressive. Right? Sometimes it's like the UC system too. It's very oppressive. Right? <laughs> but, but I want you to make that uh, correlation between you know, the, the UC system and the prison system in some way. Right? So, 
So education is very important, very important for people to open up their mind. So I, I want your support in, the, in this poll, right? So I just, it's kind of like a call and responding, uh, just, just very quick. So when I say uno, dos, tres, I want you to say uno, right? And when I say uno, dos, tres, I want you to say dos, and uno, dos, tres, tres, right? So each time I say that, you just say one, two, three, one, two, one, two, three, one, one, two, three, two, one, two, three, three, right? Can we do that? Yeah. Okay. I want to do it loud, right? So when people say, hey, what is this Asian American study group on people that are speaking Spanish, right? So I want, to, I want the people to hear about them, right? So, uno, dos, tres. Uno, dos, tres. Uno, dos, tres. Cadence in unison, bouncing off walls and razor wires from the adjustment center where murderers, fathers, sons, brothers, husbands, grandfathers, and human beings are isolated in single animal cages, exercising their body, spirit, solidarity, fighting against authority, fighting for life. I sit in the library surrounded by thousands of books on general works, philosophy, religion, social works, language, science, useful arts, the arts, literature, history, by people who are dead, alive, black, white, brown, yellow, red, orange, tall, short, fat, skinny, young, old, gay, straight, women, men, reformer, revolutionaries, sharing and expressing their knowledge, experience, thoughts, theories, Praxis, creativity, artistry, humanity, as my eyes grew to Asha Bandele's call for the students in the City University of New York, the question, why we need to struggle. Instinctively, my thoughts led me to slaves slash prisoners who are enrolled in college programs in prison industrial complex of San Quentin University, the one and only in the state of California, volunteer professors, scholars, students from university near or far, flock to the plantation to educate and cultivate the minds of society's outcasts. Slaves slash prisoners, young and old, embrace the opportunity to learn, to read, write, pursue an associate arts degree, an education often not afforded to us in society. Uno, dos, tres. Uno, Uno dos, tres. Dos. Uno, dos, tres. Yes. Yet I wonder how many slaves slash prisoners have asked, what kind of education are we getting? Will the education we are receiving enable us to overcome ethnic, religious backgrounds and color lines? Will the education enable us to conquer classism, racism, sexism, hatred, prejudice, and institutional violence that have been indoctrinated in us? Will the education enable us to pull ourselves out of this environment of oppression and dehumanization? Is it enough that we can read and write but can't think critically about our lives? Is it enough for us to get an education? get out of this physical enslavement, go get a job, cower in gated communities, drive fancy cars, wear designer clothes, rear children, reduce recidivism, become poster boys, puppets, statistics for the prison industry complex. Uno, dos, tres. Uno, Uno dos, tres. Dos. Uno, dos, tres. tres. Still, I wonder how many slaves slash prisoners are asking, why do we need a struggle? Maybe it's because we refuse to hear the invisible chains that are rattling around our necks, Refuse to feel the shackles that are weighing us down. Refuse to realize the apathy that is sucking our lives away. Maybe it's because we have conformed, accept, and allowed the authorities to dehumanize us by trashing our property, doing cell searches, making hundreds of men shower in a segregated stall, confining us in cages smaller than a regular sized bathroom, forcing us to work for pennies less than a dollar to, or no pay in exchange for privileges so they can profit in millions ordering us to strip naked, open our mouths, stick in our tongues, lift our testicles, bend over, spread our cheeks, cough, and lift up our feet each time we finish visiting with our loved ones. And so I wonder, if we don't think critically about our conditions, who will? If we don't raise awareness about our lives, who will? If we don't fight for our lives, then who will? If we don't do it now, then when? If we don't use what we have learned to liberate ourselves and others from this physical and mental enslavement, then why do we need education? So think. Be critical. Take action together. Uno, dos, tres. Uno, Uno dos, tres. Dos. Uno, dos, tres. tres. Thank you very much. I know I have an hour and 30 more minutes, so I have about 10 more, 20 more poems to share with you, but I'm not going to do that. But seriously, though, I really appreciate the opportunity to be here, and I really encourage the folks that no matter what major you're in, it, keep doing the great work you, that you're doing. Make sure that it's something that you want and not what somebody else wants you to do. But most importantly, regardless of what major you're in, major in Asian American studies, <laughs> it's all good, right? Always get to double major. Because you, you, I mean, you, you might think it's funny now, right? Because 
Later on, you will find the advantages that you will, you will have when you know that you have taken those classes, when you major or minor in Asian American Studies. You, you see the advantages that you have. Right? And for those people who don't have a second language, go get one. Right? Go get a second language. English, is, that's, that's not the only language that, that you need right now. You need two, three languages. And if, whoever you identify with, please get a second language. So with that, I would say, happy new breath. Appreciate what you have. And start signing up for your majors with all these professors. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Eddie Tang. Thank you for doing what you do. And he actually is the subject of a soon-to-be-released documentary, he didn't speak about this, called Breathing the Eddie Zhang Story, so be sure to look out for that. <laughs>